Hey, welcome to Trauma Talk, everybody, with Mark Ellert. I'm going to talk to you about trauma today because it's something I have an extensive history of. I'm an expert in the field. I got a lot of history. I'm a big expert. No, but for real, someone with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, I want you all to know trauma is not a universal thing. Trauma is very, very personal and individual. Everyone's trauma is so completely different depending on the background, when it happened in their life, what the events were. There's so much that can be involved in trauma that it's a very personal, individual thing. It's not a universal thing that happened. It's not a universal treatment plan. In fact, trauma is actually something that's so complicated that even doctors have a hard time figuring out what trauma is. Doctors, people who went to college and graduated, and then they went and got their degree. They went for three more years. People with fancy lab coats, scientists, NASA. Man, fucking NASA's putting people in outer space and they can't even figure this shit out. Trauma is very complicated. The brain is a very unique organism to each single individual and the brain actually has this way of preserving itself and preserving your mental health and your sanity. When people have trauma, your brain actually files that somewhere that's... <laughs> there's no science to it. Like I said, doctors and scientists with lab coats can't even figure that shit out. Your brain literally stores your trauma somewhere that's just random. There's, there's no system to it. It's just, we're gonna, we don't want this coming up. We don't want this to be a part of your life. We're gonna bury this somewhere in your brain. It literally just shoves it somewhere in your brain under a rock somewhere. You don't know what your triggers are gonna be and how they're gonna happen. For all you know, Jimmy's walking down the sidewalk and he's gonna pick up that rock. Bam, there goes your trauma. Bam, right in your face. That's what I mean, people. Everyone has their individual triggers. There's certain things that on a person's daily life will trigger something, an event that will actually release that memory in a certain way. And when you actually have that post-traumatic stress disorder, when you have that moment of trauma, you basically, your brain, you have a reaction. It's basically, it's the same mental and emotional reaction of what's happening at the same event. Like I said, people's triggers can be much different, everyone. My personal triggers, for those of you that don't know, September 12th, 2004, age 19, I attempted suicide by putting a gun to my head. The entrance wound is right here, exit wound is over here. When exiting the left side of my face, it blew out my left cheekbone. My whole left jaw is completely shattered and I had to do a full rebuild. So sometimes when I'm in the shower brushing my teeth, it's, it's some of the most post-traumatic stress triggering event you could possibly imagine. Because it's actually, it's, it's a muscle memory release. When I'm opening my jaw for an extended period of time brushing away in that corner, my brain will actually, it will release the memory of what happened 19 years ago when I was laying unconscious from a gun wound and I was found the next day. So it's not something I personally remember, but it's triggers. It's, it's things that actually my brain will release that memory and that emotional reaction. It feels like I'm literally, I'm there 19 years ago. I'm having the same physical, mental, and emotional reaction in my mind and in, in, in my body. But I know it's a trigger. I know it's a trigger and I actually, I can, I can find my comfort. I work on my breathing. I remind myself, Mark, you're here. You're in your shower, you're in your apartment. That's 19 years ago, this isn't happening right now. I find ways to ground myself and remind myself it's a trigger for my trauma. It's a, it's a mental and emotional reaction and memory that's literally being, being released, not at my own free will. It's just basically because Jimmy picked up that rock. I have a trigger that releases my trauma. And I also have other triggers like, Sometimes when I'm eating, I can feel a clicking and popping in the jaw that's unpleasant. Whenever I sleep on my left side, I wake up in the middle of the night actually having night terrors because there's too much compression on my jaw that's actually killing me. And the next day when I wake up, I really regret it because it'll be bothering me all day. But everyone, everyone has their triggers and everyone's is different. I know what my triggers are, so I find ways to avoid them. I don't sleep on my left side. I chew carefully, I eat certain foods, and I don't eat certain foods. When I'm in the shower, I again, I have my grounding techniques. I know what my triggers are and what's happening. I brought my awareness to it and I found ways to manage it and deal with it. So I also, I don't just bury it. I don't just, I don't just bury it and just try to pretend like nothing's happening. I accept I have trauma and that a trigger's being released. I talk about it in trauma therapy. It's something that's really good for me to help process and get out there so I can let go of that, that trigger and that emotion. It's, it's something that I can be able to work through everybody. But that's why I want you to know that Everyone's trauma is different. Everyone has their triggers. Everyone has their own techniques and their way of handling it. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. Don't say, you know what? Mark's doing so good with his trauma right now. I, I, I should be doing better. I gotta find things. Everyone has their own treatment plan. 
everyone's treatment plan is going to be so different. Don't think that you can just pick up and adopt my treatment plan because it, my trauma is so much different than yours. My background is different. My triggers are different. I know how to find out what my triggers are. I know how to accept what they are and avoid them, but manage them through the day. I try not to let my trauma be over my head and be overpowering everybody. I try to take control of it, and I, I, I know it was something that, tra that traumatized me in my past, but I can live in the current and the time. I can be able to make sure that my triggers and my trauma doesn't, doesn't destroy my life today. I'm able to overcome it and get over it, everybody. That's why I want you to know you can do the same thing, everyone. And when I say get over it, it's not something easy to get over. It's something that you can work through and put time and effort in to help yourself. That's why uh, anybody else out there, when you're noticing someone's having an episode of post-traumatic stress or trauma trigger, don't be so so inconsiderate and just be like what I said. Don't, don't say just, hey, let go of it. Just, just get over it. Just deal with it. You really don't realize this is an event that has completely changed someone's life. Their brain literally will at sometimes just without their their choice, without without them wanting it, it will actually it will release memories and release actually uh, what's that word I'm looking for? That emotional and mental reactions, the same feeling of that you are having in that moment. It's emotional distress. Sometimes when my post traumatic stress happens, I I will start pacing the hallway and I'm not okay with it. But I've learned to find ways, guys, to manage it and come to grips with it. I accept it's a moment of post-traumatic stress. Also, when you're talking to someone and you're just trying to tell them, hey, let go of it, just get over it, you're going to actually make them even more hyper-focused on it. They're going to be more angry and upset. If this person doesn't understand what I went through, they're actually trying to invalidate and take away that pain that you're feeling. You have the right and you're entitled to know something that changed you, but you don't have to have that power over your head. You can control it. You can manage your triggers and your mental health. But everyone, please respect someone's boundaries. Please respect what they're going through. Don't just be like, hey, get over it, let go of it. Ask if you can help. Ask them, hey, how can I do something to help take your mind off of it? Let's try to be mindful. Let's focus here what's now in front of us. Let's, let's talk it out. Everybody has their own triggers. Everybody has their own way of managing it and deal with it. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't think that you can adopt my treatment plan. Discover your own. Find a good doctor, talk it out with your people. Talk it out, avoid your triggers, and find a treatment plan to breathe and work through it. And everyone, be be sensitive, be considerate of people's traumas. Don't just tell them to let go. They have the right to have that feeling, but they don't want it to be controlling them. When you try to take that away from them, they're going to be hyper-focused on it and want to know why this person doesn't understand, why they're trying to take it away from them, why they don't feel like they have the right to feel that. They have the right, but it's not something you want to hold on to, everyone. It's not something you want to be feeling. But everybody, if I can do this, you can do it. Your trauma is very, very personal. It's very individual. It's not a universal thing. It's something that doctors still aren't figuring out. I didn't graduate college. I didn't go to school. I didn't get my doctorate. I don't have a fancy lab coat. But everybody, I found a way to deal with my trauma. It's not a universal thing. It's very personal, and I worked it out, everybody. That's why you can do it, too. NASA might not be able to figure it out, but they're putting monkeys in space, so we can do all kinds of weird, wacky stuff. Everybody, treat your trauma, self-care, and self-love, everyone. If I can do this, you can do it, everyone. Until next time, make good choices, take care of yourself, and treat your trauma with love and respect, everybody. It's not universal. It's individual. I'll catch you on the flip side.